It was a packed house at the Powerade Centre as the Brampton Beasts hosted the Adirondack Thunder on Monday's Family Day Special. Coming into the matchup, the Beasts are looking to record their first Family Day win in franchise history. Alrighty, let's take you to the first, where Beast captain Brandon Marino is taking a few shots he doesn't like from Thunder forward Brian Ward, so they decide to drop the mitts and have a go with Ward scoring the takedown. Fast forward to later in the first, Thunder forward Paul Rodriguez sneaks behind defenseman Willie Korn for the partial breakaway, but Beast goalie Chris Dredger shuts the door and we remain scoreless after one. Jumping right into the second period, Thunder forward James Henry scores a beauty, picking up his own rebound just 58 seconds into the period, making it 1-0 for the Thunder. Later on in the period, the Beast get a scoring chance from Marino, but he just can't find the back of the net, and we head into the third period with the Thunder still up 1-0. Now into the third period, the Beast have possession of the puck at the point, and McLean throws on net for Jackson Leaf, who tips it home to even the score at one apiece. And the Thunder must have liked that play, because moments later, Dylan Olsen throws the puck on net, and Terrence Wallen directs it home to retake the lead. In a last-minute effort to even up the game, the Beast pole goalie Chris Dredger, but the effort comes up short as Brian Ward sends the puck a full length into the empty net, giving the Thunder the 3-1 victory. Uh, our offense is going, and obviously we're getting some pretty good goaltending from both goalies, which is nice. Uh, kind of just clicking in all zones. It seemed like we uh, we were pushing all night for a goal, and uh, we got a good balance up at the blue line, and. Uh, Muck seemed to get a good shot on net, and I was lucky enough to be there. So, uh, yeah, I got a nice tip on it, and I don't think the goalie had a chance. So, well, We just didn't have it tonight. You know, they were better than us. They worked harder. They got the loose pucks. They won you know, stick battles. They competed harder. Uh, they were a little fresher and, you know, uh, obviously a tough second goal, but we just didn't have enough in the tank to get her done. The Beasts are set to take off for a three-game road trip before returning home on Tuesday, February 27th in a battle against the Worcester Railers. Puck drop is at 7.15 p.m. here at the Powerade Center. For your Sheridan, I'm Liam Rowe.